welcome to my first ever YouTube tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how to recover your pictures and videos from a corrupt iTunes backup. Now this will work for the iPod Touch, iPhone and the iPad running on iOS 4, 5 and I'm pretty certain it will work on the new iOS 6 when that gets released. So this tutorial we won't be using any, any third party software or any extraction tools um, so this won't recover any notes, messages, text messages, um, contacts and app data um, but in a, f in a future video I'll show you how to recover them using third party software. So let's go back to uh, the original tutorial. So I just quickly want to show you something here. If I just go on iTunes, click Edit, Preferences, and under Devices here, you'll see that I only have one backup. Or well, or iTunes only recognizes one backup, but that's not, not the case because I have two. So if I click Cancel, click Start, Username, and then here, what what you need to do is press Alt on the keyboard. Go to Tools, Folder Options, View, Show Hidden Files and Folders and Drives. Click on that. Press OK. And now you'll see this um, App Data folder, which is fainter than all the rest because Windows orig originally hid the folder. So double click on that. Go to Roaming, Apple Computer, Mobile Sync, Backup. Now you can see that I actually have two files in there. Um, now if I click on this one, scroll down to the bottom here, you'll notice that I have plist files and mbdb files. This is these are the files what iTunes use to read to read the backups. So if I go back to my corrupted file. Yeah, I've actually typed this in because I knew it was correct. And if I go to arrange by name, scroll down to the bottom here, you'll notice that I don't have any plist files, um, so iTunes can't read it at all. So I'm just going to scroll back to the top. Now, the first thing that we're going to do is arrange everything by size so if I just click there and from the largest to the smallest so for example these big files here they tend to be videos the reason why is because the iPhone 4s has a high pretty high quality camera and it records in 1080p so if I just right click on a mouse go to rename and type in this extension dot m o v that's dot m o v and if you want to you can change the uh, the name of the file to whatever you want um, I'm just gonna leave it like this and then press enter you'll notice that the, the type now has changed to QuickTime Movie so if I double click on that, you'll see that the movie actually plays normally now. So as you can see, this is a video of my fish tank. So if I close this, now pictures tend to be around about, oh, the biggest is probably seven megs that I got here, but use about three, four, five, depending on the lighting and things like that and the quality. So if I just scroll down here, say for example, if I select this one, again, right click on the mouse, go to rename, type in this extension, dot jpg, that's dot jpg, and again, if you want to, you can change uh, the, the name of the file, but again, I'm not going to change it. So if I just press return, and as you can see here, it's changed to a JPEG image file. So if I double click on that, you'll see that it opens up on the Windows Photo Viewer as normal. 
so and you can zoom in and out as normal so let's get out of this so I hope you found this tutorial helpful and useful so if you did please please subscribe and click like I'll do more videos on how to extract notes messages and contact lists um, using third party software so please follow me and again please click like 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 thanks very much goodbye